So since it is Earth Day, our Verify team is investigating. Has the COVID-19 outbreak led to real environmental changes? Team 12's Evan Kosloff has the answer. From the smog-free Los Angeles to empty streets in New York City. Just look at Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Usually party central, now it's empty. So let's verify. Has the coronavirus actually changed our environment? My name is Simon Evans. My name is Dr. Brian Duncan. Uh, my name is Peter DiCarlo. This group of experts is keyed into all the data. That's a huge drop. Dr. Brian Duncan is from NASA. He shared this remarkable before and after satellite picture of the Northeast, showing that nitrogen dioxide levels and air pollutant were down some 30% in March compared to normal. And we're seeing it in places like India, of course, in Europe and China. Uh, it's, it's really astounding. But what about the big picture? Can we actually put a number on the drop of carbon emissions? It's actually really hard. Simon Evans, a UK-based climate journalist for Carbon Brief, tried to do just that. He spent weeks collecting data on oil projections, electricity demand, factory outputs, and formulated this estimate, an expected drop of 2,000 million metric tons of carbon emissions. That's a reduction of nearly 6% on the year. This is going to be the biggest reduction in annual carbon emissions ever recorded by more than double. But we should remember this is temporary. This isn't going to last forever. Peter DiCarlo from Johns Hopkins University says that's because carbon emissions can stay in the atmosphere for 100 years or more. We're going to bounce back a few months, maybe even a year of reduced emissions is really a small change when you think about the lifetime of, of, of CO2. So we can verify there have been significant environmental changes. With your Verify, this is Evan Kozlov. And if you have something you would like us to verify, send an email with your idea to verify at 12news.com. Post your question to the 12 News Facebook page or tweet us at 12 News.